Hello once again and we're going to um, convert um, from a tap file to a tape file um, meaning I'm going to convert a tap file and record it onto audio cassette so you can play it on a real Commodore 64 which I've got set up over here and um, basically I've got this emulator open so you can test your tap file make sure it works alright um, but we don't need that now um, so basically what you've got to do, first thing you've got to do is invert the waveform otherwise it won't work. You don't have to set up additional leads like a mono lead. Um, I know that work, this way works. So what it is, I've got my PC connected up to my stereo system which is connected to my tape deck. So what we're going to do is put the tape into the tape deck and push record. What that do, it's on pause until I um, choose the tap file, which we're going to do right now. So, inverted waveform, that's always important if you do that. Always select that, it won't work otherwise. Um, so we push OK. So then we'll find a tap file. Got so many to select from. I know some of them work. Uh, well, they all work actually, what I've tested so far. Um, so let's try Operation Wolf. I haven't tested that one yet. So first things first we've got to do is push record, um, push pause rather. So that will start record, start the tape recording. Make sure you have no other audio um, equip, um, software running in the background, otherwise you're going to record that as well. So we click Operation Wolf. Right, it starts up straight away. You can hear it. That's the Commodore 64 loading code. If you didn't know that already, but I'm sure most of you already would know that, what the Commodore 64 code would sound like. Um, so that's going to take a few minutes to do. You can see a progress bar there. I've actually done... Oh, let's turn that down because it's getting irritating now. Um, I have done a video of doing it the other way round. Um, converting tape files into tap files um, obviously you've got to use a mono lead for that but this way is a lot easier if you want to play it on your Commodore 64 um, but what I'm going to do now I'm going to pause it until until the, it's recorded um, then we're going to try it on the Commodore 64 itself to see if it works I'll be back right now the moment of truth Right, it's recorded, so we're going to put it into our um, Commodore 64's tape deck cassette um, thingy data. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Load it up, push play on tape, and here it goes. With the Commodore 64, it is the it is quiet when it loads up. It's not like the Amstrad or the Spectrum where you actually hear the code going into the from the cassette into the computer this you can't hear it um, so so we get our famous blue screen um, <laughs> always don't know at this point if it's going to work oh here it goes it's the wolf so that's a good start space bar or just wait so so oh here we go so we're off to a good start so I know this is going to play music. This is um, one of the ocean loaders. I, yeah it is. I think it's the fifth ocean loader um, which we are going to hear hopefully um, when. <laughs> is it going to work? <laughs> um, I, I honestly think it is. I've had no problems up to now. Um, the only reason why it won't work is if the tape image itself is not good. And I've had that a couple of times where the tape image is no good. Um, here it goes, we're hearing the music. Yes. So next thing it's going to do is draw the picture. Um, yeah, I've done this with the Amstrad. Like loaded um, from its software to um, the Amstrad, that works. No palaver, just like this. I don't know who said who needs a mono lead. I know you do in the other way. Here comes the picture. 
so yeah so far so good Seems alright. I know this one didn't take as take long to load. I mean, a lot of these old Commodore 60 Gaff 4 games didn't take that long to load at all. Especially well, the more mod, the newer versions of the games, like from the more of the late 80s games, didn't take that long to load. And there were some occasions where you had a little Space Invader game to even load, play while the game was loading, which I thought was very clever. That's why I was very clever about the Commodore 64. You can play music, you can load, you can play games while the game's loading. Um, didn't find that at all on the Amstrad CPC. Um, don't know, perhaps different coding programmers how they code the games to load. I guess I don't know. I don't know nothing about programming. But we'll just wait and see. He's supposed to do that. Yeah, this was a good game for the Commodore 64. Um, well, I'm not talking about games because I'm not reviewing any games. <laughs> I'm just doing this to see if it works. But I'm sure it's almost loaded now. It all goes quiet for a little while. <laughs> yeah, it's a good program actually, a very good program to use. As, as I say, you can do it the other way if you want to convert your tape files um, into tap files so you can use on an emulator. Or it's better to have it as a disk file because it takes quicker to load. It's quicker to load. Um, but yeah, it's a good piece of software. It's just called AudioTap. Yes, and it's worked. Look at that. That's fantastic, isn't it? So yep, that's well. Let's make sure. Let's just just push F1, F F3 for joystick import two. It's going to be difficult to play with a one hand. <laughs> right, push fire. Yeah. Right, okay. We've all played, we must have all played this game. It was better with mouse. Yes, it works. Fantastic. Right, okay. I'll leave it there. Ooh, we don't want to see that, do we? I hate that reflection. I hate plasma screen reflections. Anyway, it works, so that would be using Audio Tap. Good piece of software. I'd recommend it if you want to do that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.